hi hello welcome to another video uh, in this um, video we will talk about sscm cb standalone primary server recovery uh, using sql database backup okay so i'm not going to use uh, sscm cb full backup in this recovery to restore the um, sscm cb standalone primary server but yeah we would require cd dot latest folder folders backup to uh, start the installation of the site server okay and i will go through uh, the entire process in this video okay uh, first of all i will launch uh, launch the sql server okay so these are the prerequisites for all SSEM uh, CB uh, recoveries, so host name should be the same, drive letter should be same, installation path uh, should be the same. Okay, and we should uh, have the same patch level, and uh, better to have same IP address to avoid uh, firewall opening firewall ports if you are in a corporate environment at all. Okay, and uh, you, we need to install all the prerequisites like SQL, ADK, WSUS, um, RDC. Okay. So I'm launching a SQL. And as a first step, what I will do is I will, I will restore the um, SCM CB backup uh from uh, rather i would restore the scm uh, cb database from the backup okay so right click on the databases and restore the database okay and at this device browse file okay add so where it is stored it's in the c drive SQL backup. This is the backup for um, uh, SQL backup. Okay. Okay, it's full database backup. Okay. And click OK. Restoring. Okay, restoring the backup now. It is going to take uh, another minute or so. Uh, during that time, I will explain the scenario with the same table which uh, I shared in the previous videos. Okay, my scenario over here is standalone primary server. Okay, installation of the site server should be done from cd dot latest folder. So we should uh, take a backup of uh, this particular folder. Okay. Even if you are not using SSEM um, CB full backup, then also we need to take uh, take a backup of CD dot latest folder and all the other package source folders and OSD related and um, uh, WSUS related uh, source folders as a best practice. Okay. And uh, okay. So. I will come back to this in a minute. As part of site server recovery, um, so I'm going to select uh, this option, reinstall the site server, because I don't have any uh, SSCMCB full backup in this scenario. Okay, so I have to reconfigure all the settings. Okay, and uh, as part of site database recovery, I'm going to use uh, manually recovered one. So it is outside of SSCM, um, uh, SSCM CB. So uh, SQL, uh, SQL is recovered manually outside SSCM. So I'm going to use this option. Okay. Uh, in the previous videos, I have covered both these options. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to cover this one. Okay. OK. 
okay so uh, we have completed the restoration of uh, sscmcb uh, database okay so over here you can see the database uh, we'll just close this now we can start the installation or recovery process of sscm just launch splash Okay, install, yes, okay, when I hit next, it will ask for, uh, it will, uh, it is giving me three options, I am going to select uh, the third one, recover a site, okay. So in this one, as I mentioned in this table, I'm going to select uh, reinstall the site server option. That is the second one, okay. And uh, as part of site database uh, recovery, I'm going to use manually recovered option, okay. So use a site database that has been manually recovered. So uh, using SQL Studio, I have manually recovered uh, the SQL database um, from a backup, SQL backup, okay. So when I hit next, it is asking for recover primary server. I won't, I don't have central uh, administration so site. So I will leave it as blank okay, and hit next. Eval version, accept previously downloaded files came. Okay. So where is the files? It's in the cd.latest uh, folder itself. Prerequisite files are there in the cd.latest folder. Uh, cd.latest, readist. This is the folder where all the prerequisite files are uh, residing. Okay, it is verifying the signature of uh, prerequisite files. Okay, it's pretty fast in this time. Okay, the change is uh, if you are using um, full SSEM CB backup, then we don't need, have to provide the site code and all. Um, just remember that you we need to provide the same site code okay of your existing server and uh, the site name as well primary site server okay installation path is the default one for me if um, if you have any customized installation path like uh, d doll uh, d colon slash ssem or something like that you need to provide uh, the same path of your existing server over here and i hit next just okay So what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to open CM trace for reading the log files. Okay, open desktop DC drive configuration setup. Okay. Okay, so I will say next. Okay, telemetry, it's fine. Next, prerequisites. It's checking domain function level. Okay, WSUS version, ADK. Firewall exception warning is fine. We can ignore that. And SQL memory and uh, SQL process memory warnings will come up. 
okay that is fine we can uh, start the restoration or recovery process begin install it's evaluating the port details ssp port free to space okay it is trying to create a service across okay yeah SMS underscore account underscore test underscore service. That is a test service. Okay. This is fine. We can ignore this error. Okay. Okay. So this is going to take time, like maybe. Um, 30 minutes okay so i will pause this video and will uh, come back once the recovery is completed collation process and installing config mgr console okay so we are almost there um, it's already took 35 minutes to complete uh, the installation or restoration process okay uh, within a couple of minutes it should finish uh, the entire installation process i'm just going through the log files real cook mm -hmm. I think everything looks okay you can ignore this red marks creating group installation creating program group completed installing configuration manager completed okay okay so it's done i hit next okay post recovery actions in this case i don't have any particular accounts if you have any um, accounts configured we may need to remove those accounts and add it back and if we have any hot fixes then we need to install those hot fixes but uh, in my case that the uh, nothing is there as a post recovery action uh, i will close this i will close this We'll launch console from here. Okay, here it is. And at the same time, what I will do is I will go to program files, config ngr, log files, and check whether the cloud related looks looks okay or not if i'm not wrong we need to uh, minus and hybrid SCM uh, standalone primary server uh, so when i say hybrid it's in tune integrated so i have seen like as i mentioned in the previous videos uh, we need to remove the subscription and add it back to add it back uh, this things to work cloud sync to work okay let me check okay so i'm getting the same uh, same message in the dmp downloaded or log cert mgr has not installed certificate it okay so my uh, so it is not able to communicate with the cloud services so dmp downloader is this how about dmp uploader okay uploader is also giving the same message how about the other 
user sync cloud 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 user sync okay so this is also giving the same kind of message so okay so this is 8412 version okay and administration if you go to intune subscription it's there what i will do is i will remove or delete this subscription okay and i will add it back um so we'll pause this video until that time and come back once i added the intune subscription back uh, before that what i want okay so i added back uh, the intune subscription and after that uh, the log files are uh, log files are looking good okay so total license users uh, from SSCM side is two so which are the log files uh, which you want to verify cloud user sync is one of the log and the other one is dmp downloader and uh, the and the other one is dmp uploader okay and And I have an in, um, Android device which is enrolled um, through company portal uh, via an MTM channel. So uh, I did a complaint check on. Uh, I did a lo I did log into company portal and did a complaint check, and it is working. The flow is working fine. And over here you can see the traces of that in the log file as well as if you go to console. Okay and if you go to devices you can see the device which i enrolled on 27th of um, july okay and uh, the latest update late, late latest activity or last activity is uh, happened on 10th uh, 10th of august okay so that is today so the connectivity is working and uh, the site is uh, fully functional uh, after uh, after the recovery uh, using sql backup so i didn't use uh, sscm cb full backup for the recovery and uh, I, I use only cd dot latest and uh, the sql backup I hope this is uh, informative and thank you for watching.